Hey guys, it's me, Founder64. I am so excited you're watching my video. This video is a response to a poll that I recently ran on Twitter in which I inquired as to what system was the best system to play Game Boy Advance games on. The choices I gave were 1. Phone, 2. PC, or 3. The original system. So, I told you guys that I would make a video for you based on which video won the poll. And you're not going to believe which one won the poll. Wait for it. PC! This is a C for PC, by the way. So we're going to go on over and head on over to our GT72S 6QE Dominator Pro G laptop and play Game Boy Advance games like a boss. Alright guys, we are at RPC. Let's turn some light on. This is our MSI GT72S Dominator Pro G laptop, as you can see right here. And it's got all this awesome, amazing stuff in it. It's a brand new computer. It's actually at Fry's right now. It's one of the most recent models in PCs. And as you can see, here are my specs, although I'm going to switch to on-screen video for that. GE Forge GTX 980M, Intel Core TMI7, 6820H CPU at 2.70 gigs. 16 gigabytes of RAM, 15.95 usable by the way, and oh geez, I have all this awesome stuff and so as you can see we're more than equipped to play Game Boy Advance games. So that's what we're doing here and we're going to be using this controller, it's an Xbox 360 controller, wired, it's the best because it doesn't require batteries and it's amazing. So we're going to do that. Alright so without further ado let's switch on into Game Boy Advance mode and play some games. Alright guys, welcome to the PC. We are going to open up our emulator that we're going to be using today. It will be Visual Boy Advance 1.8.0511. And uh, yeah, I understand the whole thing about emulators, but I also understand that they're awesome because you can play your Game Boy Advance games in totally crisp graphic settings and and you can get really high quality audio out of the game that you couldn't get otherwise. And it's just, in many ways, it's a lot better than using the original hardware. So, since PC won the poll on Twitter, we're going to be using PC. And because we're using PC, we have to use an emulator. But, check this out. Game Boy Advance BIOS! Alright guys, so I want to apologize right up front if I'm shouting into the into the uh, microphone right now. I can't hear myself because I got headphones on, so I have to like be louder than the music because I have to keep it really loud so I can record the right volume. So that's what's going on there. We're gonna go ahead and create a new sim. Put in B O W S E R. Set E R won't fit, so it has to be Bowser N64. Yeah, that's one thing about this game, guys, is the music in this is incredible. You won't find many games that have music this nice. I mean, I could listen to this music all day, dude. I play this game sometimes just because of the music. Because the music is, like, to me, what makes a game great and drives you and gets you really involved in the plot or whatever happening whatever is happening in the game, and that's what's going on with that. So, ooh, we gotta get ourselves a pro. Oh, there's a squirrel outside. I just saw a squirrel. It like ran on the highway. Oh well. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, we got some nice yellow khakis going on there. We're rocking the yellow styles, what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Can't decide if I want like gray or yeah, that's better. All right, looking good, dude. Looking good. So we want to be like, uh, what's our personality? Definitely a neat freak. So let's go all the way up here to that. Um, shy, outgoing. Yeah, very outgoing. But more nice than I'm outgoing, I think, maybe. So, let's take away a... There we go. We only need... There. Nice. I am playful, too, but I can't get that in there. So, apparently, I'm, like, kind of close to Aquarius. That's kind of interesting. Okay. Da -da.
makes me want to sing my heart out, man. Yeah. Of course I want this sim. Welcome to Sim Valley, Bowser N64. Or should I say, Bowser N64. I am so excited to have you here for the summer. We may not be as big as Sim City, but we've got twice the character. Come see me as soon as you arrive. Uncle Hayseed. Oh yeah, man. Look at these graphics. All blocky and chunky, but they look great. The colors are just crisp and so fine, it's amazing. All right, so this is our uncle. We're gonna start at the beginning of the game for you guys, and I'm not really sure if I'll go through a Let's Play on this. I'm thinking I might, because I like this game so much, and I probably should do that with a lot of the games I like, so I can have more videos out for you guys having to do with playing games, so. Morning, uncle. Well, hello there, Bowser 64. You made it. I doubt that. I don't doubt that you're going to have a great time here in Zen Valley. Before you get all settled in, be what you want and then help playing the game. I need to do a country accent because he's my uncle. Hey, see. Yeah. Let me give you a few basic hints. First, you gotta learn how to use the A button. Press the A button when you want to talk to people and use objects. What objects can I use around here, and how? Huh. Arrows appear over objects you can use. If you're close enough, press the A button to use the object. What happens if I press start? Huh. The first screen you see is pretty handy. It shows all your goals like a big to-do list. You can also see the popularity screen. This summarizes your friends and relationships. Finally, the pocket screen shows all the stuff you're carrying. You got all that? I got it. Dang, I have such a smart family. And speaking of family, didn't your mother send you here with a little gift from me? And didn't she tell you to get acquainted with me before running off and making new friends? Give you a gift? Get acquainted? Oh. You can give things to sins by telling them you have something for them. Easy as that. And to get acquainted with someone, or to become someone's friend, you need to reach a certain relationship level. 30 or 50, or maybe even higher. Check the number below the meter for your current level. <laughs> oh man, this game is awesome. I'm sorry, I get really into it, because it's like, these characters are hilarious. Some of the stuff they'll say to you is just like completely opposite of what you would expect by meeting someone similar in real life. Oh man. Alright, I gotta give him something. Oh, it's a dusty old photo album of your family and some of their more glorious, memorable, and embarrassing moments. Hey, thanks! I believe just about any Christ thing I hear these days. Alright. Okay, so we got new goals. And uh, basically, if we press start, it's gonna bring him up. So we have to befriend our Uncle Hayseed for, with our relationship being at 30 points. So we're gonna keep talking to him. Let's do this for fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do got a place of your own. <laughs> okay, we're trying to like build a relationship here, not like destroy it, so we gotta keep going. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Is there anything I can do? Not right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to eat some or I'm gonna pass out. And believe me, guys, they're not kidding about that. This kind of bums you out because if you pass out, you don't really know what's. There's a. Oh. See, I'm used to like being moved. Hey, there's a free phone there. Oh, this is annoying. I can't do a diagonal with the joystick? 
Hold on a second, guys. We gotta fix this. Um, see, this is the thing about emulators. It takes forever to adjust them to get them just the way you need. And that's what we're trying to do here. Um, I guess we're we'll have to do the actual joypad. Helps out a lot if you use the real control pad. Yeah, there we go. That fixed it. Okay, cool. So, we're back in the game, and now... We're gonna go. I forget that I have to use the, the actual control pad now. So I guess we have to go inside the house. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens. I remember now. You have to go inside his house and use all of his appliances until you can actually get your own. And later he'll give us like a TV and a refrigerator. And he's like the best uncle ever because it means like. I don't know of many uncles, even in my family, even though I only have two, of, <laughs> of that would give me that much free stuff, like, here, just have a refrigerator, you know, it's like, seriously, we're gonna just start randomly taking a shower, because, I mean, as you can see, our, our needs down here, I, oh, I'm actually glad I have the mouse still, so I can point this out, see, the way this game works is you fulfill your needs, and you have to keep all these bars green, basically. They get red, you're either like rubbing out of whatever it is and you need to refill it again. Um, if you haven't played The Sims, how do I explain The Sims? It's, it's basically a role playing game, but it's like you have to manage on a character by character basis all the needs of this, this given character at one time. So like their hunger, their shower, their hygiene, I mean their energy, their comfort, their bladder <laughs> yeah bladder is a need and uh, TV is entertainment and the house icon over here represents our our um, being homesick so if you're away from home too long and it turns red that would be a bad thing uh, hunger is also important of course and it's almost empty so we probably should get some food so we're gonna bum off some food from our uncle Sweet. that wasn't enough though that was just a snack you know, real people would actually fix real meals, so you know that, right? Instead of eating snacks all day. I mean, come on, Bowser. In, I mean, Bowser in 64. I love the sound effects. It's like, the Game Boy Advance cartridges couldn't fit that many things when it came to the game and sounds, so they had to like do really short sound samples in this game, and it's hilarious. It's almost kind of half its charm, to be honest. Uh, yeah, see all this stuff laying out here? This is gonna be mine later, and I can take it and put it in the barn and, and live there. And that's pretty actually, really kind of funny that I'm playing as Bowser in 64 in this game and I'm about to move into a barn because that's actually where I live anyway. So, <laughs> go figure, right? I keep stepping on the chickens. Okay, we're gonna befriend our um, uncle here. There we go. Nice place here you have Uncle Sicy. Uh -huh. Why, thanks a bunch, Bathory in 64. I try to keep a cozy home. Are you getting used to your surroundings? I'm too tired to talk. All right, so we completed our first set of goals. So, let me go in here so I have a little bit of like uh, quiet to talk to you guys. I'm getting like blasted over here with the headphones on. Basically, this game is goal based and um, that, that's one thing that's really distinctive about the herbs games on Game Boy Advance. Because in the regular Sims, you have so much more freedom of you can just like build whatever you want, move wherever you want, and basically do whatever you want. In this, it's like you still have those freedoms, but they really emphasize the goals that you have to actually complete the goals to unlock new areas to play in. So that's what we have to do. I'm going to go back and show you the map, because if you go press select, and you go down to show map, actors on the top. You can see this is where we are, right? And you can move all these other places in the world, but 
until you unlock them, you can't get to them. Although one thing I found that's definitely a lot different than the herb sims in the city, since remember this is the sims busting out. It's not really the herbs, but it's designed in the same way. If you unlock this portion here by completing goals, you get access to the rest of the city. Whereas in the herbs, there were several different districts you had to actually unlock one by one. Which I kind of liked better, but to be honest, it's nice to be able to play the game pretty much fully after just a few goals as well, so. And I don't know what this game became before. The Herb Simpson, Simpson, I can't talk, the Herb Simpson City. I think it might have, but you know. Who am I to doubt? So we're gonna do some more goals. Gotta get some sleep, dude. Why you wanna sit up right there all night and do this stuff and do that, this and that, and you know, and never get a swink of shut eye in your life, you know? That made no sense, but still. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> I love those sound effects, they're great. <laughs> Grab. See, we got new goals. Grab. Nice place you have here, Uncle Stacy. Uh -huh. Well, thanks a bunch, Bowser and 64. I try to keep the toes at home. You get used to your surroundings? Oh, yeah. All settled. No problems here. Wonderful. Just make yourself at home. Grab something to eat in my place. Get some rest and clean yourself up. You smell like old dust and new hay. Now, if you will excuse me, I gotta get some topsoil to turn. Got some topsoil to turn. I can't say topsoil because I'm topsoil, you know? Shooter, shooter. Grab. Uh huh. Shooter, shooter. That was weird. Okay. Grab. All cleaned up. Hey, you look like a thousand simoleons. I think it's time you moved into the barn. It's all yours now. When you're ready, move everything in my backyard to your new place. Thanks. No problem. If you need to talk, just look for me somewhere around the farm. I'll be driving them tractors and repairing them Hot Wheels, folks. See what I mean? Psst, I don't really know how to bail hay. We'll just keep that between us. Shoot, shoot. <laughs> oh, I love this game. It's amazing. So we're gonna do those goals and, and probably wrap it up. Cause uh, like I said, I think I really am gonna do a let's play on this. I actually haven't played all the way through the game. So I don't know if I should, oh, we have to go pick up the stuff first, you ninny. You little ninny. Gotta pick up your refrigerator and stuff. Like I said, I'm hoping that we'll get to play through this game, you know, as a let's play on our channel, but I have to kind of play through it first and figure out what all is in the game and what needs to be done so I don't waste a lot of time trying to figure it out when I'm being recorded. Cause believe me, that's a problem. Man, I want to take this oak tree with me into the house. Oh, oh well. We gotta put in pockets, and then yeah, I, that's that's The Sims, guys. You can put a refrigerator and a couch in your pocket. Only in The Sims. Only in The Sims. Yeah, thanks a lot, Uncle, for giving me a broken TV. All right. We're gonna go upstairs and set up our new place. That chicken is driving me nuts. Alright, uh... Ah. Okay, we're done. We're gonna, like, lay it out like we'd like to have it and if we were actually playing the game for real. So I guess this would go over here. That's awesome, music for the sleigh. <laughs> he dances, that's awesome. Okay. 
bed. Very important to have a place to sleep. So. That was awesome. <laughs> it's like, seriously? These are the, gaze, the days of Game Boy Advance, people. And you know that you just really didn't have a lot of processing to, to vote to run in the video. Managing the audio and stuff like that, so... That's kind of the way it goes with Game Boy Advance. So short sound samples, and they can't all play at once. Honestly, I think they did a spectacular game with a uh, spectacular game. I think they did a spectacular job with this game because there are a lot of ways that this could have been done back in the day, but they really took a way that really. It required a lot of work to get all this to work properly. I mean, I can only imagine, because they're trying to give you the Sims experience, which is, by definition, open world, and put it into a Game Boy Advance cartridge. And while some limitations were done, they made them part of the plot and part of the game so that it's not as noticeable. And the way that they've done all the music and, and uh, just the game mechanics is just really good for what they had to work with. So you really gotta realize the constraints these developers had to work with with this stuff, because developing games, it's almost never easy, but it was especially not easy back then. These are the dark ages where, you know, there weren't many libraries to put in your games and design new code. There weren't many ways to just, you know, automate something. There's just there's just so much work that had to be done with a game like this. So I really admire it and I really enjoy it because I think it's one of those hidden gems in Game Boy Advance games that just kind of looked over like, oh yeah, The Sims. Yeah, that'll work great on a tiny Game Boy Advance screen, right? Well, yeah, apparently it actually turns out it does. It works incredibly great. And there's another game, like I was telling you earlier about, called The Herb Sims in the City, and it's very similar to this game. I think it came after this game, but I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I'll, I'll definitely research it, though. And it worked the same way, and it was just as good as this game. So we're going to play that one on the Let's Play probably in the future as well. So now that we have everything moved into our apartment, let's check. Yeah, we do. We're going to go over here to Uncle Hayseed and tell him we're moved in. But we got to watch some TV. Or fill up our entertainment meter. <laughs> Look at that dancing! Break it down, break it down. <laughs> yep, guys, welcome to the herbs or the Sims on Game Boy Advance. You're always taking care of your needs. And you know, there's a little little word that I have for that called micromanagement. And you have to micromanage your sins all the time. Because if you don't, you will fail. And no one likes a failure. So, where did he go? Uncle Hayseed! Uncle Hayseed! Lassie! Well, there's a squirrel. He probably went outside to fix his tractor. Silly me, I should have known that. Uh, let's go over here. All settled, Uncle. Good to hear. In fact, you look so fresh. I bet you won't mind me telling you that television and refrigerator I gave you could use a little tweaking. You mean you just gave me a bunch of junk? No, oh, no. Think of them as temporarily non-functional treasures. Why don't you see if you can fix them up in half? Why not tune up my old tractor here as well? You okay with all that? I think I need another nap first. Oh. Enough of that now. Don't you be getting too comfortable. 
just because you don't got a lease don't mean you can't raise your rent. Now step on to it. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I don't want to drag this on too long, but I wanted to play some Game Boy Advance game or a Game Boy Advance game and kind of get into it so you can see how it looks on PC, so I'll be doing this in the future. And uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. This has been Bowser64. If you want to see videos like this in the future, hit me up in the comment section below this video. Let me know because I will definitely be happy to record some more stuff for you in the future. So, Bowser and 64 signing out. It's been The Sims Busting Out. Awesome Game Boy Advance game. I bet you really should check out. I really think you should. All right, guys, take it easy. Hey guys, if you like what you see in my videos, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. I'm also on Facebook soon, and you can follow me there. This has been Bowdrin64. I hope that you have a great day. Uh... Okay, we're done.